Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of One Punch Man, Chapter 184. Also, new 4K camera. Let's see how freaking big the dang, uh, video uh, file sizes are, are going to be. It may be ridiculous. I have no idea. <clears throat> but anyway, Scout is the title. We have Saitama in a very epic little pose as the cover. Let's see here. Huh? A commercial? To recruit new heroes. So, Tatsumaki's getting pulled into that. Alright. I don't have time for that. What good would it do to have a bunch of losers who got pulled in by a commercial anyway? Up until... Uh, up until not too long ago, I couldn't even beat a wolf level. Yep, three years ago. <clears throat> so she's thinking... Also, why are we looking at what is likely not her apartment? <laughs> but it seems like it is. It's kind of weird that she's in such a low-rent looking apartment. Hmm. Well, if anything, this would be... Wait, who is this dude? He looks vaguely familiar. <clears throat> well, if anything, this could be a good opportunity to let new applicants know exactly what it means to be a hero. So she's in on it in front of the cameras <coughs> action you can't do a hero's job by half-assing it that's a it's a harsh world where death is always lurking over your shoulder that sheer audacity or i can't pronounce this word audacity audaciousness i don't know but oh <coughs> she's going full power the ability or the level of ability required i've got to drill it into their skulls as a representative of the S-Class Heroes. Cut, cut, that was good. Wow. <laughs> she went overboard. Oh, on air. Shining them legs. Let's see here. The Hero Association is always recruiting new heroes. Let me fill the terror of the fire burning in your heart, okay? What? All right. If you don't apply, I'll twist you. Oh, Lord. I'm sure that pissed some people off. Namely her, but I could definitely see people enjoying that. Oh god, the next page is just her pissed off. You doctored it. <laughs> huh? AI generated from the existing footage we took. You don't think you can get away with overdoing or doing whatever you want? I don't give a rat's ass about the producer's intent. Uh, hold on. I think the phone's breaking. <clears throat> beep, beep. Uh, good morning, Mrs. I saw your commercial. It was super cute. <laughs> oh, God, well, the roof just got blown up. But, Big Sis, the commercial was a huge success. Of course it was. I produced it. Wait, you produced it on my mask? What the hell? <clears throat> oh, that looks like Genos, kind of? No, it can't be. They wouldn't be silhouetted out like that. So someone's seeing it and is reacting. Wait a minute. Who's that guy? Hmm. You're Mr. Axel, right? <coughs> Sorry for my abruptness. My name is Shizuki, and I'm a scout. Oh, so that's what the title's all about. From the Hero Association. Hero Association. He seems to be a swordsman and has like... No, not a swordsman. That's an axe. Okay, I just had to scroll down. I didn't see it in the previous pages. I didn't make that out as an axe, but now that I'm looking back on it, I can see the head of it a little more. So yeah, he's got an a roller skates. R good lord. This dude is like slapdash hero right here. <clears throat> got like some kind of futuristic-esque, you know, bits of armor, the axe, and the roller blades. Another scout, huh? The publicity stunt went over well. Who made this? <laughs> By improving our image through commercials. <clears throat> Currently recruiting new heroes. Visit our website for details. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> She's going to kill somebody. And by reporting that the damage in the surrounding area was caused by a group of demon-level monsters being repelled by Tatsumaki, we've been able to recover our trust in the eyes of our wealthy residents. I hear this is all orchestrated by you, Mr. McCoy. You're quite the capable fellow. 
Yeah, don't stroke his ego too much. <laughs> Come on now. It's all for the sake of the organization. However, the incident sure lowered our confidence in Metal Knight even further. That big talking delinquent. Ah, first there's the failure of his guard robots, then there's the flimsiness of the building we're in that we trusted him to design and construct. I can't believe he called it an impregnable fortress after the tens of billions it took to have this place built. Tens of billions! Okay. <clears throat> To be honest, I figured it would go on, like, the trillion mark, almost. I doubt we can rely on him moving forward. And now, with Metal Knight, we've got... Damn, you caped Baldy. So he was watching everything. Same with Tatsumaki. We turned a blind eye this time, thanks to their arrangement made by Mr. McCoy, but she's too self-righteous and too much of a loner. Even if we tried to guide her, she's so abruptly powerful that no one would be able to have the hope to hold in the reins. It'd be like trying to ride a bomb. I mean, there is that like famous old movie, I forget what it was, and the dude rides the bomb and he's like, yippee ki yay <clears throat> That's what I envision. Uh, we'll need to strengthen our surveillance on both of them moving forward. Have we still not found any alternative sources of manpower? Well, about that. We haven't seen any signs of increase in hero applicants. Why not? Hmm. Our ad campaign was well received, and our approval ratings from the public has been increasing, hasn't it? Well, yes, it has, but... Actually, I saw the news reports and the commercials. Looks like business is booming for you. So, there we're now with the talent scout. Uh, that's very kind of you. However, we can't afford to be lax. There are more powerful monsters appearing just about every day. Outside of Tatsumaki and a number of the top heroes, many of our heroes get defeated by those even when they band together. The S-Class is unreliable, and the A-Class and below just keep adding to the ranks of the injured. We feel it is imperative to strike while the iron is hot and replenish our fighting forces. Replenish, huh? You made them sound like ex expendable goods. That's why you'd need me, huh? Yes, apologies for the wording. <laughs> yes, you would become part of that. <clears throat> Leader of the Vigilante Group Hunters. And Axel is his name again. Even our upper management considers your combat ability and public uh, presence to be more than satisfactory. Hmm. Who does the Hero Association think they are? I. I heard you guys got played hard by a lone hero hunter. Seems like you weren't putting those huge donations to good use. Well, the majority of our budget is being spent on maintaining our approval ratings, including things such as compensation for damages to the area caused by hero activities. Good lord, how much money is just paid out. Our, our sponsors are always monitoring the association's approval ratings, after all. And what was floated as our answer to that had you at the forefront, Mr. Axel. She seems, like, so happy, but there is something about the way she... Her eyes. There's, like, a deviousness to this. <clears throat> Let's see here. The idea is that we could give the hunters an opportunity to work as professional heroes. So they all use axes. Interesting. And all with roller blades and the similar kind of armor, but not always the same. Hmm. Some just look like sports protective equipment. <clears throat> A private corps consisting of 53 young civilian volunteers who are skilled in combat. You've already had a proven record of eliminating a disaster level demon. Wait, what? Oh. And we heard you have strong support from the people. There's 48 of us. Five men died in the fight against that level demon. Damn. Your activities wouldn't change. We can offer you many kinds of support, including provisions for medical treatment and battle equipment. 
In addition, you could receive monetary compensation for your services. I've already refused this offer before. We can guarantee you a position as an S-Class hero, Mr. Axel. S-Class already? I mean, I guess if you defeat a demon. Let's see here. The other, but that's collectively what they were able to do, so I wouldn't think that should work. <laughs> the other members would need to work their way up from C or B class, however. This isn't about treatment. Most of us hunters have lost someone dear to them in a monster disaster in the past, so we don't trust the Hero Association. You've gathered all that money and all that manpower, and yet... I'm thinking of Tatsumaki, Metal Knight, and even Bang. In the end, all those interested in protecting is a small group of rich people. The new headquarters you built in what used to be a city is being used as a shelter facility exclusively for those people with tons of cash. Isn't that right? I also heard you're letting a bunch of heroes live there and make them serve double duty by working as security. Yeah, he's got your number, honey. She's like, uh, how did you know this? The Hero Association isn't working in the public interest anymore. We have no desire to put ourselves in the middle of that and risk getting corrupted in the same way. Is that so? Very well. I'll reach out to you again at a later date. Look at you without a care in the world. How about I let you in on an interesting piece of info? The Hero Association won't be around much longer. You should start looking for another job as soon as you can. Huh? Okay, that's interesting. Why did he bring that up? Hmm. Lightning Room. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Uh, I always watch Super Sumo. I'm a huge fan, yep. So, a sumo champion, okay, this guy is massive, a sumo champion with 700 wins in a road damn. The Hero Association just won't give up, a few scouts even came to see me during the tournament. Super Sumo Yokozuna Raiden, oh, so is he named after that famous, like, 20 year champion? He never officially had the Yokozuna rank, but... Also, I'm referring to the same guy that's in Record of Ragnarok, if you're not aware. I'm certain I told them I had no intent of fighting for them. Mr. Raiden, your strength defies human understanding. It does it? <laughs> Which is exactly what we need in this age. That may be so. There have been a prominent increase in the presence of vicious monsters with each passing day. The police and the military have their hands full with maintaining the public order in our society, particularly the number of individuals among the pro-heroes of the Hero Association who were faced these monsters head-on is now quite small. That's right. Er, that's exactly right. We, we must break out of the status quo. If we can get to you... If we can get... Oh, I thought it said get to you. <laughs> uh, the ultimate sumo wrestler, Raiden. Well, working on our side as an S-Class hero overall, morale would improve greatly. No. Apologies, but I must refuse. He's actually, like, sweating there for a second, but I think that was more so from his exercising. Just between you and me, you'll be compensated generously. <laughs> All of you say the same thing. I have a prior commitment. In not too long, the launch of a new Hero Association will be announced. What? What? <clears throat> Someone mentioned something about this before. In a previous chapter, where it was like there was inklings of someone forming their own rankings. You didn't know? I've made a commitment to them already. How would he know if you... A commitment? What, what is this? What? There's a brand new hero organization recruiting heroes. Moving forward, members of the Hunters will also be a part of them. So, all, these two prominent fighters are going to be joining this new group. What is it called? Several of the Hero Association sponsor companies also plan on moving over. Naturally, they've also reached out behind the scenes to several S-Class heroes. Is that so? Oh, 
Genos is getting an upgrade. And what do you plan on doing, Genos? Wait, Genos was one of them that was reached out to? Holy crap. So I guess the lower ranking S classes, because it probably figured they were the ones that were more susceptible to being bought. I don't know. You did say that you had some suspicions about the Hero Association. <clears throat> Ooh, his new body looking kind of cool from what we can see. Though that might just be like his, his endoskeleton kind of deal. I... I what? And Saitama watched the commercial and he's freaking out about it. I'll twist you. <laughs> Apparently his shirt says something about it's a Japanese pepper. One in ten is surprisingly spicy. What the? It's a shishito. Okay. And that's the end of the chapter. What? Axel's name is probably supposed to be a pun on Axe and Accelerate. Gray wants you to go with Axel to <laughs> denote both, but I think that sounds dumb. Yeah, it does. One X is enough. Raiden means thunder and lightning. Well, I didn't really need to know that, but I knew the Ray part. I didn't know the Den part, but eh, it is what it is. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> okay, Tatsumaki being used in the forefront of you know, commercial advertising of joining the Hero Association. I mean, that idea is not bad, don't get me wrong, but there's issues of, like, with people's, you know, confidence in the association not panning out too well and ratings going down low in certain regards. Yeah, the uptick of monster activity plus the strength of the monsters what they're doing in general is you know it's all baffling how the hero association has technically lasted this long i mean it's only been a few years but still a few years and things can die very quickly as well so it's interesting in that regard given that this is like such a bombastic kind of business plan so yeah commercially speaking it could be feasible but from a moral and logical standpoint you definitely wonder how this is ever really supposed to work because we're seeing what ultimately could happen you know you've got other associations forming you've got sponsors pulling out you know there's scouting of new um talent to the competitors so yeah the hero association is going to have its work cut out for it to you know, trimming the fat of its corruption, actually putting a true face of that can bring confidence back to their brand. And Tatsumaki isn't necessarily that, but hmm. And the fact that Genos is the one that was is one of them to be reached out to is interesting. Who would have thought? Um, so there's also let's see. Uh, the two new heroes we've seen that apparently will be joining the rival association. You have Raiden the Super Sumo. 700 wins under his belt. I feel like that is a little stretching, so I'm wondering how many wins he actually would have had in a regulation tournament thing, but I don't know. Or since going pro. And also, is Super Sumo like a uh, upper level of Sumo, or is this just what they call it in this world? Um, then you've got Raiden, who is the leader of essentially just street fighters that use axes and fight monsters. So, I mean, it's not surprising that these kinds of groups exist, but interesting that they've been as successful as they are. But, yeah, a demon level, and it sadly cost the lives of five people, but a demon level threat is nothing to sneeze at. That's a fairly decent accomplishment for a, what amounts to a bunch of humans. I mean, I don't see the Fabuki group even in their heyday taking down a demon, so, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Hmm. But giving him S class right off the. off the. out of the gate is just kind of. hmm. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess that's about all I have to say about the chapter. Um, I'm still figuring out the camera, like, what is the best zooming angle and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, the lighting situation, I don't know if it'll show up as well. It looks dark here, but it's, sometimes I've seen it brighter when I upload the video, so it's kind of weird. I don't know what the quality's gonna be like, all that kind of stuff, and my room's a mess, so, yeah, there's also that. But, <clears throat> and now you get to see all of the detail, but anyway, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter, anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. And as always, oh, links down below. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch of My Podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. It's been a few chapters, so I'm hoping we'll finally get around to it, but who knows. And uh, as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. 4K Keeshlings. Or 4 Keeshlings. Oh!